Hey everyone, Chris Dykes here, and today I'll be playing some more The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Let's get back into the game. Don't want to talk too much. We're walking on the beaten path with our friends. Uh, forgot his name. The old fat guy with the armor. Faster. Going faster. Oh, he's talking to Roach. My bad. Kind of name is Roach for a horse. Exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Come on. Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore Run, the Roach. old borders. As soon as he wins the war. Uh -huh. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Guess that works. Faith always keeps us stronger. Uh, weeping family. Take it down easy. House. Wondering who did that. I'll come back and kill whoever did that. That's for sure. I'll avenge their family. Because I'm Geralt. Oh, is he stopping? What's happening? Oh, okay. So fast, Roach. Sometime later. What's going on? We going? Going where? Help me! Help! Oh, are they bandits or something? What's going on? Oh, that is not a bandit. By the looks of it. That's not necessarily a human either. Okay. Well, um, he seems to like that donkey a lot. That's either a griffin or a chimera. Come on, old man. Use your reflexes. You have any left? Though. And he'll take that to go. Poor donkey. Now ah, you're fine. Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Oh, he definitely looks like a peasant, that's for sure. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. I don't think he needed to know that. But I... You'd, you'd like a reward, I suppose. I don't really care for that. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Oh. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Interesting saying. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone. Oh, okay. Maybe you can help. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Sounds good. Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. That's convenient. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Like a girl, it's just nodding along like, right, you see now, old man. Right. Let's get going. Come on, Roach. Faster. Let's be boring and go down some well-trodden path. So, a griffin <laughs> this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain shore, but here? Oh, this is near nice. the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Too. I guess we're here. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Sounds good to me. This is the inn he was talking about, I suppose. Nice tankards. That was rude of you. I don't think there's a drinking limit in these times. Those have to be soldiers, the way they're dressed. What? 
take that down before there's trouble. Is that a threat? That is your coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They the were lilies. right to hang there. Sounds very feminine. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. Thanks for making that statement, man. And it really had a profound effect on everyone in the end. For sure. And she took it down anyway, so... Must just be upset with the situation. And here I come to save- oh, that's just the fat guy. Okay, there's me. To save the day. Witches? That's right. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Oh. Got a fan, I see. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. I guess so. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. You're welcome. Master Witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Well, information would be great. That's what I'm here for. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. It's gotta I've be our perfume. I've not smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Yeah, she had a nice ass. Plenty of travelers Just about, saying. though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Okay. Because, you know, I've already got a warm reception in this place. So might as well antagonize them. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now, the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. Privy's a bathroom. And, seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. Okay. We might have done something, but not for free. You know, I don't... I think that guy's just like a mercenary. Although he is my master, I don't know. Thanks for everything. Gotta be nice to the ladies. Always. So yeah, you go drink and I'll do what we're here for. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember. We'd rather not draw any attention. Oh, because the armor and the arsenal of weaponry isn't too Black attractive. Been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Got a bunch of peasants Drummel. here. Drummel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. A uh, headless cockerel. Eh? Alright, so peasant one, talk to I'm me. Looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my oh. face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Ooh, watch your tongue. I've got two swords to cut it off. Alright. What is this? I can use magic. Raven, woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. I'm a medieval Folks Jedi. Said a lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radivor into a ditch. <gasps> Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Helpful. Hey, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Ah, oh, shut up. Uh, and I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Hey! You got the same mind. That's good to know. Alright, next group of peasants. Come here. Oh, her name's Elsa. That's ironic. Actually, it's not ironic. That's just there interesting. Are four factions. Four what? Factions! Gonna interrupt you. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Uh huh. What rules? Got a minute? I guess I'm not curious. Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher, with tenure. That's all I gotta say. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Poppycock. The horsewoman of war, though. 
That's a pretty badass title, I gotta Horse say. Horsewoman of War. What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. <laughs> know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Sure. You know what? I, just because of that statement, go. goodbye. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, it no, sounds very I stupid. I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. No. Dude, I'm busy. I'm like saving the world or something. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, oh, well. I'm here if you change your mind. You know, I'm wondering the dialogue if the yellow text is actually like important and you can actually get a product from it. Maybe I should have learned how to play Gwent, but I can do it later. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Uh. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses Mine in black and white. Good. Two schnapsies. It'll lift your spirits. I don't want to dull my senses. Don't generally drink with strangers. Come. I know this to be a vile place. You might down a little glass merely to aid digestion. Is that supposed to make Can we sense? Cut to the chase. You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Okay, he knows her name. I didn't mention the name. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. Once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Okay. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. Ballads. The only way a humble bard? merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. So he knows my name. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. Okay. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? What's love got to do? Got to do with it? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. At least he knows his place. What That's do you good. know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Oh. Who would have thought? Gee. Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes. Lilac. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. So now you're sending me somewhere else. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Okay, he disappeared pretty quick. I don't really know who he was. I saw the name. Can't really remember it though. Hi? Done drinking. Didn't drink any. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. I would, but you're in my way. Dramatic moment. So I could fight them. Ah. Wouldn't want to stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Oh, so you're Six threatening me. Under. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go. Believe me, this is a mistake. Okay, stop it. You know what? I'm not digging a 3v1. Okay, you know what? Actually, I don't like getting my ass handed by a bunch of peasants. Maybe I should actually play like I know how to play. Okay. Dude, I'm not fleeing from this fight. Come on. 
This is a lot harder than I thought it would be, though. Come on. They must be soldiers, not just peasants. They're soldiers in disguise. They're assassins who were paid to kill me. That's yeah, that makes me feel better. Right, he's dead. Eat some bread. Are you just gonna sit there? Come on. You're next. Uh, yeah, you are supposed to believe I kill monsters. At least he's courteous enough to say nice meeting you. Even though it may have been spitefully. Giddy up. Giddy up. Alright, let's move. I'm gonna do the side quests in my own time. I don't want to waste yours. So, we're just gonna go straight to the most pivotal story, which is finding Yennefer and actually making progress. This atmosphere, I don't think I can comment on it just enough. It looks so amazing. I'm not going to follow that path directly because I feel like it's kind of wasting some time. So. Run, Roach. <laughs> Alright, let's cross this bridge here. What the hell are they? They don't seem hostile, right? Oh, they're, they're actually attacking me. Okay. Well. Let's go deal with them, why don't we? Gotta eat, though. And pick a good s spell to use. I don't know how to deal with them, per se. Ow. That's probably not a good way to deal with them, I gotta say. Alright. There you go. You're next. Oh, hey! There's some water. Uh, considering it's a drowner, I'm guessing it could probably swim too, but I can't attack there, so... Alright. Oh! You were busy screaming, weren't you? Sorry to interrupt. Oh, shit. I don't want to die. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Where were we? Oh, they, they look so playful. They're rolling on their bellies, and they're just having fun with each other. But they did mutilate a caravan by the looks of it, so I guess I have to kill them. I really hate killing wolves. Not because they're hard, but I just I actually like wolves. I don't like killing them. Oh, it's just me and him, okay? Alright, he's down. It's a shame your friends didn't help you. I was kind of expecting that. Okay. Let's strike him while I can. There we go. Well placed. Oh, did I do that? Oh, I'm sorry. That almost seems unfair. Oh, you're manly men, aren't you? Doing push-ups. Maybe I should sheath my sword. That's it, Roach. Probably be a good idea not to alert them. All right, you stay here, Roach. You aren't needed. This is yonder. Come on. If you're gonna occupy our lands, at least learn the language. Seriously. Kinda remind me of the Imperials from Skyrim. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. You don't know who I am, do you? I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead uh -huh. wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? That's right, bitch. Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. I'm not gonna taunt them. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. Nordling? To the tower. Go. It's an odd title to give me, but okay. I prefer Resonant Badass. I wonder. I'm sorry, I, I I was just testing your limits. Apparently you guys don't like that. It's away. It's a... Okay. That was a little odd. I'll be sure not to do that again. <laughs> Alright, got How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Who's this guy? Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? 
These are not the hands of an excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport well, soon. Well, he seems like a nice guy. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. It's a little surprising. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. He's got a keen eye, you know. Plan to requisition something from him, too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war, in case you have not noticed. No. Nope. Who are you? Speak. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgar. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Oh, really? Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Naturally. Slay it. And then I shall <laughs> see what I can do. At least it's pretty linear. Ah, okay. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. Why would it do I all that? I judge from your tone, this will not be easy. What do you require? My wits and my prowess. That's all I need. But I guess I have to answer with this, so. I'll need bait, a specific herb, buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck. Buckthorn? It's not that hard I to pronounce. I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. <laughs> no. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Touche. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Right on. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Aren't we all? We're all a little strange in our own. Tamira and Mislov. Thanks. Yeah, got all I need. Okay. Well, that was easy. Just because. I really think I just snapped my fingers and the candle ignited. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.